Once upon a time, a trip to Palm Springs was had. Why? Because over here, we love a little daycation, staycation vibe. Y'all, it's your girl Christina Young, and welcome back. If you're new here, hey, and if you're returning, y'all already know what's up. Y'all are the real MVP. So, y'all, we are on another little vacation, staycation vibes. I told y'all I was bringing back Queen of the Day, stay and they vacations and I was not playing okay we out here enjoying life and that's the only way to do it so today well actually it's the next day we about to go home in like a few hours but yesterday we came here we came to Palm Springs I love Palm Springs it's very chill it's very relaxed the whole nine yards so um, we came out here and we are staying at this hotel Bellevue Oasis and of course I went on the ticker talker to kind of like narrow down and see which hotel that I wanted to stay at this is an adults only hotel which means there ain't no kids y'all know ever since that virgin cruise I've been addicted to no kids <laughs> but there are no kids and um it's very calm very relaxed there's not a lot of people here there's only like I think there's only like I don't know like 12 to 18 rooms if that i don't even think there's 18 rooms because our number is 18 but i don't think there's 18 rooms i think there's like 12 there's very little rooms i'm gonna show y'all once we come inside um i did do a room tour yesterday so i will show you guys the room later on here and then uh right now we're just gonna go back inside i just want to come out here and do this intro because i didn't do an intro yesterday because we were living in the moment so let's go see this room let's go see this hotel and i will see you guys on the inside so first things first, we're about to head through the gate because I want to show you guys just how chill this hotel is from the outside in and just how cozy this hotel is. So I'm walking from the entrance down the little walkway and to my immediate left, there is the pool. It's really pretty. As you can see, it has the stone walkway towards the pool. The pool is heated, so you would have absolutely no problem in the winter if you decided you wanted to come here and stay. The pool hours are also 24 hours, so you can come whenever you want, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, all day, all night, whatever. That's another plus of staying at an adults-only location. Now here's another view of just how cozy and quaint this hotel is. As you can see, the rooms are all next to each other, just like in a little row. And as we move along the walkway, you can see that they're all fairly close to the pool area and location. With our room number 18 being in the primus of location and closest proximity to the pool area as you can see if we were to walk out of our door we would be right there in front of the pool so we're just going to walk up there so we can get another little look see at the pool area as you can see to the right of the pool there is a jacuzzi and when i tell you this jacuzzi gave everything that it needed to give hold on i'm gonna just i'm, I'm gonna let y'all see real quick Look at where we going over here in the jacuzzi. Love it. This is what I wanted to do like the entire time I was on the, in the spa on that ship. But the way people was in and out that jacuzzi at the spa, there was no way. But I got this whole jacuzzi to myself. Uh, Bay's over there in the pool. I'm, I'm probably gonna go in the pool to cool down after. But this feels so good. I don't want to get out. But we gotta get out because we've been here way too long. Then as we move a little bit further past the pool area and the jacuzzi, we walk up to this little space here and this is where you would get your ice. Very convenient and very close to the room. 
And speaking of the room, we're just gonna head back down these steps from the pool and we're gonna head right on into our room so that I can give you guys a room tour. And this is just what it looks like on the outside. It has this nice, big, huge patio, which is super duper uber cute. And I'm gonna give you guys a little look at what it looks like at night. It's so, oh my gosh, look at this y'all. It's so pretty. Those little pink purple lights, so cute and the perfect ambiance for this hotel and now let's go inside and see what we are working with upon entry we have the bed and when i tell you this bed was fire i wanted to pull up a truck and take it home with me okay <laughs> fire now this particular unit did have a kitchen i made sure that i booked the room with a kitchen because whenever i go somewhere and i'm trying to have chill and relaxed vibes i always try to get a room with the kitchen one this is going to cut down on your expenses by not having to eat out you can bring your food plus it's going to allow for you to not have to leave and maximize your stay if in fact it's a short stay like mine which is a overnight trip and what you are seeing here is the view from the kitchen window if you were in the kitchen cooking that would be your view you could see it all now moving along we have the tv that faces the bed and then next to the bed you have a chase lounge which is super nice then down the hallway you have the restroom now keep in mind like i said we have been here for a day already it's almost time to go home but this is what the bathroom looks like it's very simple just a shower um no sliding door or nothing it just has a glass piece there and then it has the overhead shower and then it has the handheld one and then of course your sink toilet area and then this is the only mirror that's available in this room as far as the closet area you have a safe and an iron you also have the little thing to hold your luggage i never know what those are called there is an ironing board and some space for you to hang up your clothes now there is in fact one last feature to this room as you can see we're going to go through this door and once we step out we have a back patio as well as you can see there's a little seating area just in case you wanted to sit down and not be in the front and there is this little turf area in the back kind of like little backyard area and on either side of the hotel you have these little mini golf courses you can see one right there and if you go to the other side there is another one on the other end this is definitely giving palm springs vibes so as you can see this hotel is super duper duper cute super cute i feel like it used to be um maybe like an apartment complex and they just switched it to a hotel like back in the day apartment complexes as you know palm springs most of the things in palm springs are very um older like maybe 50s kind of 60s style and that's one of the things that I really like about Palm Springs. Like I said, I did find this hotel by just doing my research on the Ticker Talker and I read the reviews and stuff. And what I will say about reviews, y'all, when y'all are booking hotels, yes, take read the reviews, but read the reviews with a grain of salt because sometimes you just have to experience something for yourself and sometimes what people are saying in the comments just you gotta disregard it you gotta see the meat and potatoes of why they wrote whatever comment that they wrote because there was quite a few like negative comments about this place but i like it i would stay here again the bed y'all the bed fire okay the bed comfortable i you got my boat okay the bed is comfortable the room is comfortable there's a kitchen as y'all seen like everything about this place is super cute and it's relaxing it's comfortable it's no kids Okay, I gotta say that again, there's no kids. The jacuzzi was fire. Everything to me was fire and I would definitely stay here again. The only thing that I would suggest, like I saw in one of the comments that I read that they don't have full length mirrors in the rooms, which they don't. And y'all know I love a good mirror. We know this, okay? So that's the only thing that I would suggest is that maybe they put a mirror, like a long mirror in the room and maybe have like bikes or something available like some of the other hotels around here. But that's about it otherwise everything else to me is good okay and if it's good for me it's good for me to tell y'all about it okay now that y'all have seen the room now i'm just out here sitting on this fine patio enjoying the moment okay just a few little hours that we got left y'all i love to just take in the moments like even yesterday we had a moment before we got here before we checked in we actually went to i think it's called the palm canyon trail 
I think that's what it's called. It's where there's a bunch of big palm trees and they're like very tall and I'm gonna just insert a video right here if I can. I think, I don't think I shot the video long ways like for YouTube. I think I shot it in a short version. So whichever version that I have, I'm gonna just put it in right here so y'all can see what we did yesterday before we got here. But it was really fun. So I suggest if you come to Palm Springs, you might wanna do that too. But watch it right here real fast. super cute ride that was a very fun very exciting and it's only $12 to get in you know baby he has a, a military discount so he got in for free so me I had to pay but it was $12 to get in per adult and it's really fun like it's a really good experience and I got all my steps in got all my little steps in okay I think I burned in an hour and a half, I burned like 500 calories walking on that trail. So, got my exercise on yesterday, right before we came here. It was just a good experience. This whole experience all around, even though it's 24 hours, has been a great experience. So, I would implore all of y'all who, you know, sometimes maybe you can't afford a big vacation or you just need a little getaway, go on a vacation, a staycation, okay? Those little trips here and there in between your big vacations will get you through, okay? Because the way I be feeling for vacations, these little trips like this get me by so that I'm not like losing my mind. So you can do it. And some of y'all will say, girl, how you be affording all these vacations? Y'all, I keep telling you, use these credit cards. Use the credit cards, okay? But you have to know how to use these credit cards. Don't just be going using credit cards. You need to be using credit cards with points. Y'all, I paid all of 20, maybe $30 for this room out of my pocket. The rest of it was used with my gift card that I got 
from my points from like three of my credit cards. I just combined all my gift cards that I got. So I think I got Hotels.com gift cards from like three different credit cards that I had. Y'all, I combined all them cards together and had enough money to pay for this hotel. And out of pocket, I had to pay an extra 20, 30 bucks. Come on now. Come on now. 20, 30 bucks. And you can go on a whole staycation. Granted, I did have to put gas in my car, but I had to put gas in my car anyway. You got to put gas in your car anyway. So all together, I paid with gas probably $60 to go on a whole staycation. And half of that expense was in the expense that I had anyway. You got to put gas in your car. So literally on a trip for $20, $30, booked a hotel. Use the credit cards, learn how to use the credit cards. You learn how to make the points work for you. And once you do that, you can go on as many staycations and vacations that you want, okay? And okay. <laughs>